Uh, yes, there will be a lot of sound and fury. There will be a lot of sound from Mr. Puno and maybe there will be a lot of fury from me. So the first question is, why did you have to go to the house when nobody told you to go there? Your superior, meaning to say the president didn't order you to go, the widow did not request you to go, nobody as far as I can tell or requested him to go. So what was he doing there? What was so urgent that he had to go himself? What were the documents that he wanted to get his hands on? Apparently, Mrs. Robredo ordered the maid not to allow Mr. Robredo, Mr. Puno inside. So that means that if we can, if we are allowed to draw a conclusion, that Mrs. Robredo does not trust Mr. Puno. And this attitude could only have stemmed from her husband's own attitude. Otherwise, since she's not a member of the DILG, what was the basis for the attitude that she did not want Robre uh, Puno inside the house at all? But what do you think of the president defending uh, Mr. Puno's action? Maybe the president is not defending Mr. Puno, but is just trying to assuage or to protect the backers of Mr. Puno. And who are the backers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and draw that out or tease that out during the hearing. But right now I can't because I'll be accused of unfair allegations without any evidence.